right here in my hand. You hear that? Got a $550 computer for you guys. It's going to be able to smoke crisis. That's right. And then, after that, in the next video, I'm going to build a $350 computer that can play Crisis at around 60 frames per second. Do you believe this is going to happen? Not really, but I guess we'll find out in a minute or two. Yeah, it's time to replace your consoles, everybody. So, for the $550 option, I wanted to give you guys an Intel option and an AMD option. The Intel option uses the i3-2100, and the i3-2100 is a dual-core uh, the AMD option is going to have a quad core. So let's just get started, and I'll tell you why I'm doing it as I'm going along. So for the Intel option, the motherboard I'm going to be using is the Biostar B75MU3+. Plus. It's an LGA1155 motherboard. I like this one a lot. Uh, it supports 6 gigabits SATA. It's got USB 3. It's loaded. It's socket 1155, meaning it's going to be compatible with, you know, much better CPUs than the i3. You can put the i5, 2500K, which is like my CPU of choice for gaming. Uh, you can put i7s in there. You can even put the brand new Ivy Bridge CPUs in this motherboard. So it's going to be very future proof. And it even has a USB 3 header on board, supports 32 gigabytes of memory. And on board, it has VGA, DVI, and HDMI. So I like this motherboard a lot. CPU again, i3 2100. Uh, that's 120 bucks. And um, it, it does beat the AMD CPU that we're going to be using. The AMD CPU that we're going to be putting in, in this machine is the X4 uh, 965 Black Edition. It beats that in, in most benchmarks as far as gaming goes. Uh, as far as the desktop goes, the AMD is quicker uh, most of the time, especially when you're doing uh, applications that take advantage of more than two cores, you know, like if you're rendering or, you know, doing a create, something creative. And if you're using, like... Um, I don't know if you're using like Handbrake and you're doing X.264 encoding, the AMD kills it. So let's talk about the AMD. If you're going to be using AMD, try the ASRock uh, 970 DE3 slash US S3. It's an AM3 motherboard. 67 bucks online, and uh, the motherboard's pretty good. Uh, I will want to. I do want to say that the, this ASRock motherboard has a lot of features, and it's cramming them all onto this motherboard, and it's sacrificing build quality. A lot of people are complaining that some of the parts uh, snap off easily. So if you're like rough with the SATA ports, they may snap off. Just be nice and gentle with it, and uh, you know, install it once, and, and you'll be done. There you go. For the CPU, AMD Phenom. To X4 965 Black Edition. That's a 3.4 gigahertz socket AM3 CPU. Really good at overclocking, and this thing does smoke the i3 in uh, lots of creative applications, X264, etc. But I still like the i3 option. The Intel option is my choice because there's way more options with that motherboard as far as future upgradeability, and it does just as good, if not better, in all games. For this system, uh, in order to keep the price low, I decided to go with the Ice QX HD 6870. I love the 6870. It's one of my favorite sub $200 cards. It really beats the hell out of the uh, GTX 560, but not the 560 Ti. If you've got an extra chunk of change, you can go ahead and grab an EVGA uh, GTX 560 Ti. Um, those are really, really fast. But if we're keeping the price low, the HD 6870 can handle pretty much anything you throw at it, and I like it a lot. For the RAM, let's get 8 gigabytes of G-Skill Sniper Series RAM. Uh, this RAM runs at 1600 megahertz, and it's 50 bucks, so you cannot go wrong there. You can also add two more sticks down the line for another 50 bucks, have 16 gigabytes of RAM, and then you'll look awesome. Just cruising in your PC. Never mind. For the PSU, check out the Leap. It's the B550SA, 550 watt. It's bronze, 80 plus certified. Has to be 80 plus certified, or else I don't want to use it. We don't want a weak link being the the PSU, because if the PSU shorts out and you get a cheap PSU, it'll kill the entire system. And you guys don't want that at home. This one has one single 12-volt rail, and I like that as well. It's 55 bucks. Cannot beat that. Um, for the case, I really like the NZXT uh, Gamma Classic Series. It's uh, The part number is Gamma, G-A-M-A-001-B-K. It's 35 bucks right now. I think it's on sale. That's ridiculous. You can find it online for that price. And it's got everything I need and a ton of cooling options. You can put like 520 millimeter fans in this thing. For the hard drive, Seagate Barracuda ST250DM000. That's the model number. It's a 250 gigabyte, 7200 RPM drive, 16 megabytes of cache. And it's also um, 6 gigabit SATA, so you'll get a lot of speed out of that for 70 bucks. It's about as low as you can find them these days. And also for the uh, CD DVD drive, if you need a CD and DVD drive, you can grab an Asus 24X DVD burner for like 17 bucks. I don't even use CD DVD drives anymore. You can install Windows or Linux from a uh, from a flash drive, so I just do it that way. 
I want to thank everybody for sharing these videos. I hope they're a help. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be a freaking help. So you guys will come to my website and hang out because I'm lonely. No, not really. I'm not lonely. I'm too cool for school. I go hang out in bars and pubs and chat up people that I don't know. That's how not lonely I am. There's a tear in my beer. We need to go get a beer. Yeah. It's about beer 30. All right, guys. I'll uh, see you guys next time. Subscribe. Goodbye.